When you hold a gun in your hand, what do you think you have? A weapon. <laughs> no, Chico. It's only an excuse to get your head blown off. A gun is absolutely worthless unless you know how to use it. I'm learning. How to shoot. That's not enough. Let's say this stone is you. This one's your opponent. You stand facing each other, two equal men. You each got a gun. You each have six shots. You've got to draw. Whichever one of you has the sun behind him has an advantage right off. Because with the sun behind you, you can see your opponent stand out sharp and clear. And also, the man facing the sun has got it glaring in his eyes. Watch your shadow, Chico. If you see it in front of you, you can shoot. If you don't see it, walk slow. Look for it. While you're walking, you've got to run your tongue over your lip. If you feel it's cold on one side, the wind's to that side. Now, if it's cold in front of you, the wind's coming right at you. And that's bad. It slows down the speed of the bullet. What if it's on the side? You gotta do a little figuring. If it kicks up the dust, the wind's low and strong. You see the leaves fluttering, the wind's high and weaker. And what's your way of calculating? I wear my hair long. I can tell by the way the wind blows it. By now it's instinctive. You get to be like a wild animal. Life becomes only a matter of survival. You learn to kill or be killed. Your senses have to be so sharp that they'll react automatically to every single sound and movement. What made you be that way, Django? When someone's out to kill you, you darn well better learn faster. Or else, boy, you're dead. Like I said, your instincts take over and you become an animal. You have to. Or you don't stand much of a chance. Take a puma, for instance. You know how it hunts. It begins by looking around. It moves real slow at first. When it finds the scent, it crouches and moves. Why? To test the wind. The minute it feels it on its nose, it crouches. The wind carries the scent of the animals to him. When he picks up the scent he likes, he moves fast, always keeping downwind. That way, his victims can't smell him until he's pounced. Remember this, Chico. The man who has the strongest will to live is always the one who wins the battle. How do you pass the time before you kill a man? I give myself a shave. You see, when you find a man who's concerned that much about his looks, it means he's mighty anxious to stay in one piece. And you're a man who wants to live. Yes. <laughs>